Did you know that the moments we often try to avoid, those quiet stretches of solitude, might actually hold the secret to our greatest growth and happiness? Today, we're diving into a topic that might just shift the way you view your own company. It's easy to get caught up in the noise of the world, constantly seeking connection, fearing the silence might reveal something about us we're not ready to face. But what if I told you that embracing solitude, stepping back, and really getting to know yourself could unlock levels of contentment and self-awareness you've never imagined. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago, teaches us about the power of self-sufficiency, resilience, and finding peace within ourselves. In our journey today, we'll explore not just how to be alone, but how to thrive in it, using the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to guide us. So. If you've ever felt a pang of loneliness, or if you're just curious about what lies on the other side of societal pressures to always be connected, then you're in the right place. Let's uncover together how solitude can be one of the most powerful experiences in our lives, turning what we often perceive as a negative into our most profound strength. Stay tuned, because this conversation might just change the way you think about being alone. And before we dive into this transformative journey, do hit that subscribe button and stick with us till the end without skipping, because every moment of this discussion is a step toward embracing a more fulfilling, stoic-inspired life. Number one, there is a chance to meet many people. Without the commitments that often tether us in a relationship, you're like a free bird soaring through the vast skies of social interactions. Now. Stoicism doesn't just teach us to endure alone, it encourages us to appreciate every encounter as a chance to grow, to learn, and to contribute to the common good. Imagine every new person you meet as a chance to see the world through a different lens, to challenge your perspectives, and to add a new layer of understanding and empathy to your character. Think about it. When you're not anchored to one particular social circle or routine, you're more likely to step out of your comfort zone. And in doing so, you're not just expanding your social network. You're also broadening your horizons, discovering new interests, and perhaps even uncovering aspects of yourself you never knew existed. The Stoics believed in the value of cosmopolitanism, the idea that we're all citizens of the world, connected in our humanity. What better way to live this principle than by embracing the diversity of people and experiences life offers? And here's the beautiful part. Each interaction, each new friendship, or even a fleeting conversation, is a thread in the rich tapestry of your life. These connections, no matter how brief, teach us about kindness, resilience, joy, and the myriad ways to lead a fulfilling life. So, as you navigate the path of singlehood, remember, every person you meet is a chance to learn something new, to give something back, and to inch closer to the person you're meant to become. It's a journey of discovery, not just of the world around you, but also of the depths and capacities of your own self. Number two, use your time the way you want. Stoicism, with its profound teachings, nudges us towards using our time wisely, reflecting on our choices, and living a life that's true to our values and virtues. It's about understanding that the most valuable resource we have isn't money, it's time. When you're not part of a duo, your decisions, how you spend your mornings, what hobbies you pick up, which passions you pursue, are yours alone. This isn't about solitude for solitude's sake. It's about self-discovery, self-improvement, and ultimately, self-fulfillment. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once mused about the importance of living a life aligned with one's nature. And what better way to honor your true nature than by spending your time on what genuinely lights a fire in your soul. Whether it's diving deep into learning a new language, picking up that guitar, collecting dust in the corner, or simply enjoying the quiet of dawn with a cup of coffee, these moments are yours to savor. Every second is an opportunity to grow, to laugh, to create, and to live fully. This is your time to explore what makes you tick, what brings you joy, and what drives you towards your personal excellence. But here's the kicker. It's not just about indulging in your interests or passions. Stoicism teaches us the value of reflection, 
of introspection and using our time to better understand ourselves and our place in this vast interconnected world. So while you're enjoying this journey of singlehood, take moments to reflect, to ponder over your day, your choices, and how you're contributing to the world around you. In this uncharted territory of using your time as you wish, you'll find not just freedom, but a profound sense of purpose and fulfillment. You're not just passing time, you're crafting a life that's rich in experiences, learning and personal growth. And remember, how you choose to spend your time is a reflection of who you are and who you aspire to be. So make it count, make it meaningful, and most importantly, make it yours. Number three, save money. This isn't just about stashing away cash. It's about the freedom and choices that come with financial independence. Stoicism teaches us to be wise stewards of our resources, to live simply and find contentment in what we have. It's about understanding that true wealth comes not from an abundance of possessions, but from a life lived in accordance with nature and our values. When you're navigating the world solo, you have a unique opportunity to align your spending with your deepest values and aspirations. Think about it. No more splurging on gifts, fancy dates, or those big celebrations that, while fun, can quickly drain your wallet. Instead, every dollar you save is a dollar you can invest in experiences and endeavors that genuinely enrich your life. Whether it's saving for that dream trip, funding your own startup, or simply building a nest egg for peace of mind, the financial freedom of singlehood is a powerful tool for crafting the life you envision. But here's where it gets interesting. Saving money as a single person isn't just about what you're not spending money on. It's about the strategic choices you make with your finances. Stoicism doesn't advocate for a life devoid of pleasure or enjoyment. Rather, it encourages us to find joy in the simple, the meaningful and the purposeful. So, when you choose to save money, think of it as choosing to invest in your future self. What experiences will enrich your soul? What knowledge will broaden your horizons? What actions will contribute to your growth and happiness? This financial autonomy allows you to live deliberately, making choices that reflect not just your immediate desires, but your long-term goals and dreams. It's about creating a buffer that allows you to face life's ups and downs with equanimity, a concept deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. When you have the financial freedom to choose how you live, what you pursue, and when to say no, you embody the stoic ideal of autonomy and self-sufficiency. Number four, cultivating healthier forms of love. In a world obsessed with romantic love, being single offers a unique vantage point to explore the depth and breadth of love in its many forms. Stoicism, with its profound insights into human relations and emotions, teaches us about the importance of self-love, friendship and community. It reminds us that while romantic love can be beautiful, it's not the sole source of happiness or fulfillment. Being single is an opportunity, a space in your life to cultivate love for yourself first and foremost. It's about learning to enjoy your own company, to appreciate your strengths and to work on your weaknesses with kindness and patience. This self-love isn't about narcissism, it's about self-respect and self-care. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius emphasize the importance of being at peace with oneself, finding contentment within, rather than seeking it in the approval or affection of others. But the journey doesn't stop with self-love. Being single opens up the avenues to foster deeper, more meaningful friendships. It allows you to invest time and energy in people who uplift you, who challenge you, and who bring joy into your life. In these friendships, you find the essence of platonic love, a love that is generous, unconditional, and truly fulfilling. Stoicism values these connections, teaching us that a friend is not a distraction from the path, but a fellow traveler on the journey of life. Moreover, this period of your life is a golden opportunity to extend your love to the community around you. Volunteer, join community projects, or simply be there for people in need. This extension of love beyond the self and immediate social circle embodies the stoic principle of cosmopolitanism. The idea that we are all part of a larger human family and have responsibilities toward each other. 
In cultivating these healthier forms of love, you're not just waiting for a romantic partner to fill a void. You're actively filling your life with love in its most varied and vibrant forms. This approach to love fosters resilience, happiness, and a profound sense of connection to the world around you. It shifts the narrative from seeking love to giving and growing in love, a far more empowering and enriching journey. Number five, relationships and marriage won't necessarily make us happier. Let's tackle a myth that's as old as time itself. The idea that relationships and marriage are the ultimate keys to happiness. It's a notion that's been romanticized in novels, movies and songs, painting a picture that to be happy, you need to find the one. But here's a stoic perspective that might just change the way you view this narrative. Stoicism teaches us that happiness comes from within, from living a life in accordance with virtue and reason, not from external circumstances or other people. Now, don't get me wrong, relationships and marriage can be beautiful, enriching parts of life. They can offer companionship, love and support. But the Stoic wisdom reminds us that placing the entirety of your happiness in the hands of another person is not only unrealistic, but also unfair to you and to them. It's a heavy burden for anyone to bear, the responsibility for someone else's happiness. Being single offers a unique opportunity to understand and embrace this wisdom. It's a time to focus on developing your inner fortress, as the Stoics would say, strengthening your character and finding joy and satisfaction in your own achievements and growth. This isn't about closing yourself off to love or companionship, but about ensuring that your happiness isn't contingent on it. The beauty of focusing on your happiness is that it leads to a healthier approach to relationships. When you're content with who you are and your life as it is, you're more likely to enter into a relationship for the right reasons, not out of loneliness or the fear of being single. You bring a whole, fulfilled self to the table, ready to share your life rather than expecting someone else to complete it. Moreover, this stoic approach to happiness and relationships teaches us about the importance of self-sufficiency in emotional well-being. It's the realization that, while sharing life with someone can add to your happiness, it's not the source of it. Your source of happiness lies in your thoughts, your actions, and your response to the world around you. So, if you're single and sometimes find yourself longing for a relationship, thinking it's the missing piece to your happiness puzzle, remember this stoic wisdom. Work on cultivating your inner happiness, on living a life of virtue, purpose, and fulfillment. Relationships and marriage have their place, but they are not the ultimate arbiters of your happiness. That power, that responsibility, lies with you. Embracing this truth not only makes you more content as a single person, but also lays the groundwork for healthier, more fulfilling relationships in the future. Number 6. Self-Sufficiency In the context of being single, self-sufficiency is your superpower. It's about learning to rely on yourself for your happiness and well-being. Understanding that while others can add to your life, they are not the source of your contentment. This is a liberating realization. It frees you from the endless pursuit of external validation and companionship to fill the voids within. Instead, it encourages you to look inward, to cultivate your virtues, and to find peace in your own company. This stoic approach to self-sufficiency isn't about isolation or pushing people away. Quite the opposite. It's about building a strong foundation within yourself so that your relationships with others are born out of want, not need. It's about being a whole person on your own, someone who brings value and joy to your relationships, rather than looking to them to define or complete you. Moreover, embracing self-sufficiency teaches you resilience. Life is full of ups and downs, and being emotionally and intellectually self-sufficient means you're better equipped to handle challenges. You learn to see obstacles as opportunities for growth, as the Stoics did, and to maintain your equilibrium in the face of adversity. This resilience, this inner strength, is something you cultivate every day you spend discovering and relying on yourself. Financial self-sufficiency is another facet of this journey. It's about taking control of your finances, making conscious decisions about your spending and saving, 
and understanding the value of financial freedom. Stoicism encourages us to live simply and to find joy in the essentials, teaching us that the pursuit of wealth for wealth's sake is a path to dissatisfaction. By embracing simplicity and focusing on what truly matters, you set yourself on a path to true wealth, a wealth of freedom, choices and opportunities. Number 7. Freedom In the journey of singlehood, freedom isn't just about the absence of constraints or obligations to another person. It's about the boundless possibilities that open up when you're the sole architect of your life. Stoicism teaches us about the freedom that comes from within. The freedom of mind, of choice and of living in harmony with nature and our deepest values. It's this kind of freedom that being single offers in abundance. Imagine waking up each day knowing that your choices, where to go, what to pursue, whom to spend time with, are entirely yours. This level of autonomy is a rare gift, one that allows you to explore the vast landscape of your desires, ambitions and curiosities without compromise. It's about saying yes to spontaneous adventures, diving into new hobbies and charting a course that's uniquely your own. But it goes deeper than that. The freedom of being single gives you the space to question, to reflect and to challenge societal norms and expectations. It's an invitation to live authentically in alignment with your true self rather than following a prescribed path laid out by others. Stoicism with its emphasis on inner freedom and self-mastery, offers invaluable insights into how to navigate this journey. It teaches us that true freedom comes from controlling our perceptions, actions and reactions. When you apply this to the context of singlehood, it means that you're not just free to make external choices, you're also free to choose your attitude towards life's ups and downs. You learn to embrace solitude not as loneliness, but as a fertile ground for growth and self-discovery. This freedom also extends to your relationships with others. Without the constraints of a romantic partnership, you're free to cultivate a diverse range of connections, deep friendships, meaningful community ties, and even casual acquaintances that enrich your life in unexpected ways. Each of these relationships offers different insights, joys and experiences, contributing to a fuller, more vibrant life. But here's the kicker. With great freedom comes great responsibility. Embracing the freedom of singlehood means taking responsibility for your happiness, your choices and your path in life. It's about being deliberate in how you spend your time, whom you connect with and how you grow as a person. Stoicism encourages us to use our freedom wisely, to live virtuously, and to contribute positively to the world around us. Number 8. Go out with anyone you want. Picture this, not being bound by the expectations or preferences of a partner. You find yourself open to a vast array of social interactions, each one an opportunity to learn, to share, and to grow. It's about embracing the richness of human connection in all its forms, from deep and meaningful conversations with a new friend to laughter-filled evenings with a group of acquaintances. Stoicism, with its profound respect for the community and the interconnectedness of all people, encourages us to view each interaction as a chance to practice virtues like kindness, empathy and understanding. When you're single, Every social outing is an opportunity to embody these stoic ideals, to contribute positively to the lives of those you meet and to allow their perspectives to enrich your own life in return. Think about the freedom to explore diverse social settings, cultures and ideas. This isn't just about expanding your social circle, it's about expanding your worldview. Every person you meet has a story a unique set of experiences and insights that can offer you new ways of seeing the world. In the Stoic tradition, this is invaluable. Marcus Aurelius himself mused on the importance of understanding the common bond between all people. And in your interactions, you live out this philosophy, finding unity in diversity. But there's more to it than just broadening your horizons. This freedom to socialize widely and wisely is also a path to discovering what truly resonates with you. 
It's about identifying the qualities you value in others, the types of interactions that fulfill you, and the kinds of people who inspire you to be your best self. In Stoicism, the concept of self-knowledge is paramount, and what better way to know yourself than by reflecting on the mirrors of those you choose to spend time with. Moreover, this aspect of being single, the ability to go out with anyone you want, challenges you to be intentional about your social choices. Stoicism teaches us the importance of living deliberately, of making choices that align with our inner values and goals. Each social engagement becomes a choice, not just about how to spend an evening, but about who to share your energy with, what experiences to seek, and how to live your life in a way that's true to who you are. Number 9. Prioritizing your physical health. This isn't about the superficial, media-driven goals of physical perfection. No, it's about something much deeper and more meaningful. It's about honoring your body, the very vessel that carries you through life, by taking care of it to the best of your ability. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-discipline and self-care, not as acts of vanity, but as expressions of respect for ourselves and the nature of our existence. When you're single, you have a golden opportunity to set routines and habits that serve your physical health, from exercising regularly to cooking nutritious meals for yourself. It's about making choices that enhance your vitality, energy and longevity. Think about it. Without having to accommodate a partner's schedule or dietary preferences, you're free to explore what truly works for you. You can experiment with different types of physical activity, be it yoga, swimming, cycling, or weight training, until you find the one that feels less like a chore and more like a joyful celebration of movement. But why stop at exercise? Being single also allows you to dive into learning about nutrition